The way that we learn mathematics recapitulates everything that mathematicians over the centuries and even the millennia figured out. We learn mathematics from thousands of years ago in primary school, algebra in middle school, geometry, and then all of a sudden, finally, by the time you get to high school, we're in the 1600s and learning calculus. The moment when students reach calculus is a, uh, is a really exciting one. In some ways, it's a culmination of all of the work that they've done. I think calculus is one moment in which everything comes together, the infinitesimal and the infinite. There is an explicit connection between the areas and integrals and differentiation. The students have a little bit of a glimpse of all these different elements coming together. When we did differentiation, we were looking at how a quantity changes instantaneously. When we do integration, we are doing the opposite of differentiation. To compute an integral, you have to subdivide into very small pieces and then reassemble everything to obtain the global picture. One example would be the MRI. The MRI machine records small fluctuations in magnetic resonance, then the imaging process actually integrates to give us a 3D rendering of the body. So the Stata Center is one of the most unusual buildings in campus at MIT. It has curvy shapes inside and out. One might ask how architects were able to compute the amount of metal needed to cover some of the parts of this building. And if you want to figure out how much material you need to use, what do you do? You integrate. There's a lot of doing calculus in this class. We're never just going to talk math at you. We have lots of visual interactives that we think really help construct your understanding of calculus in a deep way. And the combination of uh, examples and theory and interaction between the two, I think it's a, a typical aspect of the education at MIT. The response for the much more complex... A lot of students see the AP calculus as this hurdle for getting into college. But why is that hurdle even there? Because calculus is fundamental to everything that comes after it. So we're really hoping to help get students onto the other side where they're excited about what comes next after calculus, thinking of it as the beginning, not the end. Jake, if you like integrals, good boy.